Hello, sixth grade families. I'm doing this recording for both parents and students so that everybody knows uh, what you can be doing for science during this closure. So if students have access to a phone, uh, a tablet, or a computer with internet, here's what you need to check. First of all, check Classcraft uh, daily. I have put everyone in each class into one huge team so no matter who logs on uh, I can still do a random event. What I do so parents kids should be checking the messages here and they'll get a class announcement for messages that goes to the whole class so I'll at about between 9 or 10 in the morning I'll do a random event and then I'll post it on the class announcement so kids know what happened. Uh, maybe it's something they have to do or maybe they got XP or, or took some damage. I won't uh, apply the damage till the end of the day, around five or six. That gives warriors a chance to protect. Then in the evening or the next morning, healers can check and see who they can heal and mages can transfer uh, mana. Now, if I have to give a student a specific message, like help on an assignment, or they have a question, they click on sixth grade with my face, and here's where they can send me a message. So parents, you communicate with me on Blooms, while students communicate with me on Classcraft. And anything they type here comes just to me, so we can uh, work together this way. Now, by clicking here on Quests, Right now, we're all working on this Ocean Guardian School uh, island. Now, a few kids still owe me uh, some work from the robotics, but I'll message them separately so they know uh, what they owe me. On here, right now, we're still on hydrodynamics. So last week, uh, it was assigned for kids to finish working on their research. So if you go to assignment, kids have this hydrodynamics planning sheet and uh, they were researching the human water cycle, listing different types of water pollution, and then choosing one water pollution that they, with their teammates, were going to study and become experts in. And at the very bottom, they were including uh, their notes in their own words because that way they can use this information to do their final blog uh, which is the final part here sharing what they've learned so kids are supposed to learn as much as they can about their water pollution problem including what solutions already exist then they're supposed to take everything they've learned and design hopefully a new solution uh, so it could be completely innovative totally new or they can improve on a solution that already exists or take a solution that already exists and use it in a new way. Now what's going to change at home is they don't have access to EV3 robots unless you have your own kit at home. So your solution could be anything. It doesn't have to be robotic. And take whatever you have at home. Legos, uh, plastic, recycling materials, cardboard, anything you want and build a 3D model prototype of your solution in action. Then what you need to do is take a picture of it or record a video with your phone that you're going to share on your blog along with all the information you learned including links to the places where you got your information from. So by this week students should be working on the solution and building their their model. And as the week goes on, I'm going to post more assignments on here uh, that are kind of fun and ways that we could keep in touch. So for now, check your messaging because I'm going to post a Flipgrid link on here where you can record uh, a, a update as where you're at. And this is another way you can uh, connect with each other. Once students start doing the Flipgrid and recording videos of themselves, letting the, letting me and each other know where they are, teams can check in, uh, we can watch each other's videos. So even though we're all isolated in our homes through Flipgrid, you can watch each other. Now parents, don't forget Blooms. Uh, for each class, you've got 
the message from Mr. Lynch. Plus on these, click on my homework because this is where you're gonna find out uh, what kids have to do. So if your child's in my homeroom class, they're still working on their podcast and I'd love to have those in so I can submit them to the podcast challenge we've been working on. And then this tells you what kids are doing for this hydrodynamic challenge. And I'll update stuff regularly uh, to let you know what's going on. And parents, those of you who have not been uh, messaging me, you can message me in two ways. You can post a comment to any, any uh, post I share, or you can go to messages and message me so that uh, it's just between you and me. Remember, if you put a comment on one of these, everyone can see it. But if you click on the messaging and go to message, then anything you write there, if you pick me, will just go to me. So these are messages just for Mr. G. And uh, I'll, I'll probably start answering messages around 10 in the morning and I, I'll go pretty far into the night, you know, around six or seven, because uh, I'll be checking all day. I'll be here uh, getting assignments ready, getting more exciting learning experiences for your kids and just available to you and your child. So again, your child can message me on Classcraft right here, and you message me on Blooms by clicking on Message and Plus Message. Uh, and that will keep us connected and make sure that your kids don't miss a beat with their education. By the way, if you didn't already, I put a link here to the form Mr. Lynch sent out if your child needs a computer. Uh, let's say you've got multiple children at home and not enough computers. Uh, fill this out and, and the district will provide you a computer. And then the next thing is just make sure you have Wi-Fi internet uh, or maybe be able to take your kids to one of the hot spots around town. Uh, the district is working on getting hot spots. I know if you go to the parking lot uh, in, in our schools, the Wi-Fi has been turned out because the school Wi-Fi is really good. Um, but yeah, let me know. So far, I've only heard from one family that needed a paper packet. So I got theirs at the school ready to go. Um, and they can start delivering it through the bus route meal delivery service as well, which starts Monday. Um, and yeah, I made five extra packets in case somebody hasn't gotten back to me, but they do need a paper packet. What the paper packet has is a copy of this hydrodynamic challenge sheet uh, and information for kids to do their research so they can focus on solving the Great Pacific Ocean garbage patch problem, which I know is a very popular problem to solve because it's bad and it needs some really innovative solutions. So that's it. I'm here for you. Uh, so reach out to me and I'll stay in contact. Signing out, Mr. G.